My name is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor with IRS. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My YouTubes are short, they're sweet, to the point. I've worked about 10,000 IRS cases, uh, at least. I've worked at IRS over a decade. I have unusual high inventories there, so I have gone against many taxpayers and corporations in my life. I've been on the other side for about 40 years. Um, I am a national expert in resolution matters. And what I like to do is I like to, me and my m and man, like to um, tear the curtain apart for you and show you some things that you don't know. And today is going to be a very interesting day for you, even though it's short, because I'm going to tell you what IRS knows before they even knock on your door. I'm going to tell you what asset searches they do. Before I even pick up your case, I'm going to let you know things that I know about you and your business and your assets without even going ahead and saying, hello, my name is Mike Sullivan. I want your financial statement. I'm here to collect the money. So what are those things that you need to know that they know about you when they come knocking at the door? Many people think these knocks just go, hey, uh, I'm here to get some basic information from you. Not really the case. They're here to see if you're lying to them. So when I come out to see you, what do I know about you? What do you need to know that I know about you? How do I know? How do I know you're lying to me? Very simple. First thing I do is I go on my computer. I will first Google you. I will find out everything there is to know about you on Google and other search engines. I will find out where you live, what you have, what assets you have. I may go on your social media profiles and find out more about you that way. I have at my disposal all your income records for the last six years. I have your tax returns on file for the last six years. I know how much you made. I know where you made it at. If you're self-employed, I may not know that, but I can go ahead and find that information out. So I know a lot about you. I'm going to check Department of Motor Vehicles. I'm going to check the cars you had. I'm going to check the State Department. I'm going to check your passport. I'm going to go through your tax return and know everything about that. And I'm going to pull up some stuff right now uh, from the IRM so you know I'm actually going to read some of the stuff. So they have their own internal modules called NMOD and INOLS that has a whole bunch of information. But one of the big search engines they use is called Accurant by LexisNexis. It'll have a complete uh, financial law enforcement financial history on you for at least the last 10 years. So they're going to know almost anything that you've done. They're going to know about real estate. They're going to know about mortgages. They're going to know if you have mortgage interest. They're going to look at all your W-2s, your sponsored accounts. They're going to know whether you have an IRA. Uh, let me just see some of the other things I go. They're going to know whether you have through SunBiz or different corporations. They're going to know if you have related entities, shareholder notes, partnership agreements. They're going to check for uh, FBAR or offshore accounts that way, past residences, past residences, employers, and and two things. They're going to check your credit report, see what you're buying, who you're buying them with, what your average charge was, and then if they want to get nasty, they will go ahead and summons and subpoena your financial statement you gave to bank institutions and find out how that financial statement differed from the one that you may give them. They're going to see what you're trying to get a loan. You're going to spike up that financial statement. So they're going to know all about that. So they're going to check foreign assets, foreign accounts, verify, and then they're going to, they may even knock, and I used to do that. They, they used to go ahead and knock on neighbors' doors to find out. The other thing they can do, they can pull your homeowner's policy and look for extra things you put on there, like paintings or jewelry. They're going to know about that. If you have a business, they're going to probably circle the business, go out, find out what cars there are. And before they even go out to you, they're going to have pages and pages of information all about you. So I want you to know before IRS goes out there to talk to you ever, they're going to know a lot of information about all your assets, all your relationships, and your financial history for, I don't know, at least 10 years. So whatever you do, if an IRS agent comes out there and you want to know what they know about you, they know probably more information than you think that they know. So what is my bottom line? You want to give IRS a correct financial statement because they're going to know that you're lying to them. Remember, they can subpoena bank records and 
all that stuff and find out everything you have. Don't lie to the IRS. If you're getting in a very unusual situation and you're not sure what to do and you think it's going to get a little creepy, you better get professional representation. You're welcome to call me. We represent all sorts of people in all walks of life. I'm happy to do your representation. If you found this video very helpful, please leave me a subscription. Subscriptions drive what I do and it helps YouTube know I bring value. You can go ahead and leave me a like, a comment, but subscriptions are really big. Thank you for listening to my video. Don't lie to IRS.